Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Monday. We got eight matchups on this NBA slate today. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on NBA player props, you already know, go ahead and check out Parlay Play. Uh, simple over unders. Get five free entries when you guys sign up. So go ahead and hop in there. You guys already know what to do. Take advantage. And uh, yeah, we'll hop into it. Pretty busy slate to start the week out. Starting with the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Philadelphia 76ers. The Sixers opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 219. The last 10 head to head Memphis 7 and 3, 4, 5, and 1 covering the spread. The over has hit in six out of the last 10 matchups. Memphis um, playing great basketball here. I mean, they've been super fun to bet on. Um, yeah, coming into this on a three-game winning streak, the Sixers coming into this on a four-game winning streak. They're playing great here. And um, yeah, Memphis 14-3 and three against Philly, 14-3 and three on the road covering, a, an amazing covering team on the road. Philly 5-1 and one at home, great home team, 10-5 and five covering the spread. I mean, two great teams here. I'm taking Memphis plus three and a half on the road. I just think it's going to be a tight one here. I like the way both teams are playing. So it's a very, this is probably the toughest game on the slate to bet on. We're going to take the points with the Grizzlies. Next matchup, we have the Golden State Warriors versus the Houston Rockets. Warriors opening up as 10 and a half point favorites with the over under at 230 and a half. The last 10 head to head Golden State eight and two, five, four and one covering the spread. The overs hit in five out of the last ten matchups. Golden State seven and three in their last ten. Houston just three and seven in their last ten. One of those was a two-point loss against the Warriors just a few games ago. Warriors, um, yeah, playing great on a five-game winning streak. Five and zero oh against Houston. Uh, just one and five covering on the road. Another game, you know, Houston zero oh and nine covering at home. Don't love this spread just because the Warriors only beat them by two just like three games ago. Add the Warriors to, to your money line parlays. And if you're feeling it on the road, I mean, more than capable of beating the war, the Rockets by 20, 30 plus on any given night. So bet on the spread at your own risk, but definitely add the Warriors to your money line parlays. All right, next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Indiana Pacers. Pacers opening up as one and a half point favorites with the over under at 214. The last three head to head, the Clippers 3 0. 3 0 covering the spread. The overs hit in three of the last three matchups. Clippers uh, 6 and 4 in their last 10. Uh, the Pacers 3 and 7 in their last 10. Uh, Clippers winning their last matchup 139 to 133. Uh, 5 and 0 against the Pacers, 5 and 0 covering against the Pacers. Pacers just 1 and 6 at home. Man, I really just don't trust this Pacers team here. I'm going to take the point and a half with the Clippers on the road. Next matchup, we have the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs opening up as 10 point favorites with the over under at 211 and a half. The last 10 head to head, the Pelicans 9 and 1, 7 and 3 covering the spread. The overs hit in 7 out of the last 10 matchups. The Pelicans 4 and 6 in their last 10. Cleveland 8 and 2 in their last 10. Um, the Pelicans, they're on a 7 game win streak against the Cavs. They are just 1 and 6 on the road, not a good road team. Cleveland 10 and 2 at home. Um, excellent home team. Yeah, I know the Pelicans have been really good against the Clippers or the Cavs. I just don't trust the Pelicans here regardless of those stats and they're against the spread record. Um 10's a high number, so I'm definitely staying away from this spread, but uh adding the Cavaliers to your money line parlays, we're taking them at home. Next matchup, we have the Miami Heat versus the Boston Celtics. Celtics opening up as three-point home favorites 
with the over under at 211 and a half. The last 10 head to head Miami 6 and 4, 6 and 4 covering the spread. The over has hit in 7 out of the last 10 matchups. Miami 7 and 3 in their last 10. Boston 6 and 4 in their last 10. Miami 9 and 2 covering on the road against Boston. Um, 9 and 4 covering in their last 13. Really good covering team. No Kyle Lowry for this matchup. Um, Boston just 2 and 9 covering at home against Miami. Um, I'm going to take the Heat plus 3 here on the road. Um, yeah, I mean, Celtics are playing good. They're playing pretty decent here, but they've been beating up on some bad teams. Um, Miami had that tough loss against Toronto, that overtime thriller. But um, yeah, we're going to take the Heat plus three on the road. Next matchup, we have the Sacramento Kings versus the New York Knicks. Knicks opening up as five and a half point favorites with the over under at 216 and a half. The last 10 head to head, or sorry, last three head to head, the Knicks two and one. 2-1 and one covering the spread. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Kings just 2-8 and eight in their last 10. The Knicks 4-6 and six in their last 10. Yeah, this Kings team is bad. You know, on a bad losing streak. 0-11 on the road. Uh, Knicks 7-2 and two covering at home. They've been able to cover the spread, which is a good thing. They just haven't looked that good. I'm taking the Knicks at home. I'm not in love with the five and a half, uh, but I do like Knicks at home here against the struggling road Kings team. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Raptors versus the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks opening up as two and a half point favorites with the over under at 218. The last 10 head to head Toronto seven and three, five and five covering the spread. The overs hit in six out of the last 10 matchups. Toronto, four and six in their last 10. Atlanta, seven and three in their last 10. But yeah, Atlanta's been playing pretty good basketball here. Um, look really solid. Currently, Atlanta's on a an eight-game win streak, which is pretty incredible. Toronto, you know, they've been okay. Nothing crazy. Uh, two and four covering against Atlanta. Atlanta 7-0 covering the spread right now, playing great basketball. 6-0 covering at home. Yeah, I'm taking the Hawks minus 2.5 here at home. Coming into this on a big winning streak. They're playing great right now, riding their hot streak. Taking Atlanta at home. And then the last matchup, we have the Portland Trail Blazers versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Blazers opening up as three-point road favorites with the over under at 216 and a half the last 10 head to head portland six and four five and five covering the spread the overs hit in five out of the last 10 matchups portland uh five and five in their last 10 okc just one and nine in their last 10 portland eight and four against okc eight and four covering the spread in those meetings OKC, I mean, on a bad losing streak, 0-6 at home. Only a three-point spread here. I'm going to take the Blazers on the road. I just don't trust the Thunder. Maybe if it were more points, if it was closer to 8 to 10 points, I'd probably take the Thunder plus the points. But, um, yeah, we're going to roll with the Blazers on the road. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Monday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Tuesday. Have a good one.